friends, it's Melanie, and I decided to do a little impromptu videoing for you today. As you can see, I did not even bother to clean my filming space. Are you totally impressed? And I didn't do anything with me. I'm, I'm a complete mess today. So, I thought you guys might be interested in seeing what I got in my Stitch Fix box today. It came in the mail, and I haven't opened it yet, as you can obviously see. So, I'm going to open it and show you what I got this month. And I don't know if I'll do any try-ons. We'll see. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I wanted to give you guys like an honest first impressions. Pull it straight out of the box. This is what I think about it. And then before I actually post this video, I'll make my decisions about what I'm going to keep. Maybe if I'm on the fence about something and um, I'll let you guys know what I decide to keep. So stay tuned. I'm going to open this box and let's get started. <laughs> Okay guys, so straight away I went ahead and opened the box and removed anything that might have my address on it because there are creepers on the internet. Not that y'all are, but I'm just saying. So let's go ahead and pull out the first item and see what we think. Um, there's a little envelope in here that tells you what you, um, gives you kind of like style suggestions for everything that they send. It also has the price sheet on it, so I'm not going to pull that out yet because if you guys remember from my previous Stitch Fix videos, I always like to actually take everything out of the box and even, even go so far as to try it on before I decide if I want to keep it. I don't want to know how much it costs because in my mind, if I love it enough that I would pay like X amount of dollars for it, like I give everything a price before I actually look at the sheet and if what they're asking for is more than what I think I would pay for it then I usually don't keep it so that's why I like to look at everything first and not the the uh, the price sheet just yet so the first thing in here looks like it's gonna be jewelry they sometimes send me jewelry but I I don't keep everything they send me because I'm really particular about jewelry um, I really I like very very basic pieces it's kind of hard for them to, to send me things that I really like. So this says Shona Honeycomb Drop Earrings. Okay, I can already tell you that I won't keep these. And they, I'm not saying that they're not nice, okay? Because they are nice, don't get me wrong, but they're not my style at all. See, they're, they're pretty, but they're not me. Like, if I went to a store, I would not pick these out at all for myself. But here's these. Um, maybe what I'll do by the time I upload this is I'll, I'll insert a little tag that tells you guys how much they're asking for each of these things. I gotta be honest, I don't know, this is Marlin Schiff is the brand, and I don't know a lot about this brand, but these kind of look just like cheap costume jewelry to me. They're probably not, they're probably really pricey, and I just can't tell the difference because, hey, I don't wear a lot of jewelry, so that's probably gonna be a no. Like, I can almost guarantee it. I will say, when I got my box last month, there was one item in the box that I was on the fence about. I was like, I don't know, I don't, I don't really see me wearing this. But, everything else in the box was an, I, I loved. And so, when you, with Stitch Fix, if you decide to keep everything that's in your box, you get like a, what is, I think it's like a 20 or a 25% discount. Um, and so, to keep five items, um, was gonna be less expensive than if I just kept the items that I wanted and I sent back what I what I didn't want. So what I ended up doing was the one shirt that I didn't really love the way that it fit me. I just gave it to one of my daughters, and so I ended up keeping all five items last month, um, even though one of them I wasn't like crazy about. So I will say, if that's the case and I have to keep the earrings in order to get a better deal, then they can be a Christmas present for someone. Hoping that that's not the case though. Okay. Okay, right off the bat, this is the, let me show you guys the box. Aww. Okay, so right out of the box, this is really cute. This is by the Paper Moon uh, brand, which I do really like. Um, I probably will go ahead and do try-ons for you guys, just because, I don't know, I, I will not personally be able to decide whether or not I want to keep these items unless I try them on. So, let me try this on, and I'll be right back. Okay. So, obviously, my headband does not match my shirt, but you'll have to overlook that. Um, okay, so right out of the gate, I can tell you that I'm probably not going to keep this one. It's really tight across the bust. Um, it's cute. It's really cute. See? I mean, it's, 
it's kind of short I wear camis almost all underneath almost all of my clothes because I have a long torso and I, I have to wear camis under everything um, so I would say this shirt um, because I'm bigger up top, it doesn't work as well for me. Um, it is cute, but I don't, I don't love it. So I'm thinking probably not on this one. Next thing in the box though is a sweater, which I might get a chance to wear by January here. It's cute and it's really soft. I really like the colors. As you can see, it's a gray sweater. And then the coloring on the sleeves, the lines here, it's showing up pretty true to color on the camera. It's like a bluish mint color. This is actually, this is showing up a little purplish, but this is actually blue. Um, I'll try this one on and show you guys what this one looks like. So don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so here is this sweater. Um, it is, I'm not joking, 89 degrees here it's in Texas today. <sighs> Please fall, hurry up and come. So, I'm a little hot right now. But, I don't know, what do y'all think? What do you think? Is it cute? I don't know. I need an actual mirror to go look in. So, I'll probably go look in the mirror here in a little bit. It's very soft. It's very stretchy. I can, I almost feel like it's one of those types of sweaters that after you wear for a while, it starts to look kind of stretched out almost, but maybe not. It's, it feels really nice. It's, it's not super tight or uncomfortable. What do y'all think? Obviously I will have already made my decision by the time you see this, but here's the, here's the second clothing option. Okay, the next thing in the box is gray, which is a favorite of mine. I love gray. Love, love, love. And this looks like it is, okay, this is probably going to be a keeper. I am obsessed with cardigans, and that's what this is. So, let me put this on. Let me put this on with another shirt, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. But it's very... It's very lightweight. It's really soft. I do like that. But let me put it on and I'll be able to show you better what it looks like. Okay, guys. So here is this sweater. I just put a white shirt on underneath so you could see it well. Okay, so I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but it kind of like folds over right here. And there are pockets way down here. See, it hangs on me right to the middle of my butt. If I were shorter, it would probably hang lower. This one is cute. I can, I have a tendency to pull everything up here. I can't stand things covering my wrists. It drives me crazy. So this is one that I could really, I could definitely see me wearing. I have such basic, like, I don't, everything in my closet is basically like so plain, you know? I don't know. What do you guys think? I keep asking you that and you can't talk back to me, but that's what we do when we go try on, you know, clothes with our girlfriends, right? We say, hey, what do you think? Does this, does this make me, does this make me look fat? Does this make my butt look big? What do you guys think? Does this make my butt look big? It's comfortable and I like it. So it's a maybe, um, but I'll go ahead and I hate trying on clothes. Can you feel me? Like I hate it. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is a regular length shirt. But it, see, it comes up a little too high for me. I have to, I have to have other stuff on. Okay, that last thing is a pair of pants, and these are—they're not exactly blue. Let me see. Yeah, that's a pretty good representation of what they look nice with my headband. Um, let me see. Yep, they're just regular skinny jeans. So I will try these on, and then you can really tell me if my butt looks big. Okay guys, I don't know for sure how well you're gonna be able to see this, but here they are. Here they are. I'm really sore, I can barely lift up my leg. Okay, here they are. I can't get any taller than that. They're basically just skinny jeans, but they're, they're a nice, comfortable um, texture, material, that would be a better word. I like them. Um, I actually was just at Old Navy last weekend looking for a pair of colored skinny jeans and I couldn't find any that I really liked. So what do you guys think? Yeah, maybe with like a long necklace that this is totally what I would wear. Obviously I would fix my hair, but this is what, this is how I dress during the, the fall and winter when I want to look dressy. Um, I'll put, and I'll wear my, my boots and whatever. So that's everything that came in my stitch fix box. Um, 
I can tell you off the bat that probably I will be keeping the pants and I probably will be keeping this. I will not be keeping the, the red one. Let me grab it. I will not be keeping this one because it's just not flattering on me at all and it's not comfortable. Like, it's uncomfortable and although it would look really cute with these pants probably. It's uncomfortable enough that that if I stretch back like this, it would it would not be it would be bad. So I'm probably gonna send this one back, although it really is cute. I wish I could just send it to one of you guys because I know that there's gonna be somebody who's gonna go, I love that. Yeah, I wish that I could. Totally wish I could send it to y'all. And then the other sweater, while I like it, I don't love it. And I really don't I try not to keep anything from my Stitch Fix box that I don't love. Like because their prices are not as cheap as Old Navy or Kohl's or wherever. You know, their prices are a little bit higher, so I try to be very selective with what I keep. Um, so I think it's just going to be the, these pants and this sweater. I think that's going to be it. Um, but yeah, um, I will link for you guys uh, the playlist that I have where I've shown a couple of other Stitch Fix unboxing, unboxing, unboxings that sounds really strange me opening stitch fix packages and um, kind of my thoughts and a little bit more about the whole process but if you guys like this really really informal style of video and and kind of sharing what I got let me know because this was kind of a impromptu I'm looking at all the stuff over here and going oh my gosh this is embarrassing um, very impromptu I just said you know what I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna film and we'll see how it goes so if y'all like this then let me know um, by giving this video a thumbs up um, it always cracks me up when people give my videos a thumbs down I'm like really like did you really hate my grocery haul that much <laughs> I'm sorry you guys y'all know there's a lot of haters on the internet and I'm not you know what, to each his own. If you really did dislike my video that much, you have the right to. But if you liked this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. It takes like one click, no time at all. And it really, it tells me a lot about what you guys want to see and what you appreciate seeing. So I'm gonna take this stuff off because it's hot. It's so hot. All you people who have cooler weather right now, I'm trying not to really hate you as I drink my coffee. I'm just saying, it's so hot. Anyway, that's gonna be it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up again if you did. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what was your favorite piece that I got this month and maybe it'll be one that I actually decided to keep. It's gonna be these. I, I don't think I'm keeping anything else. So regardless let me know what you liked and if you've never tried stitch fix there will be a referral code in the description box for you I believe that you get a certain percentage off your first fix and I'm sorry I can't remember how much it is but stitch fix is really cool because you actually get to go in and set up your entire um, profile and talk to a stylist the same stylist who's going to be sending you things you can let them know I like this I don't like this um, I will definitely be leaving a review. Don't send me dangly earrings because I don't wear them and I will of course say it nicer than that. Um, but over time, you know, once you've gotten a few fixes in the mail and you continue to customize what you like, um, they start sending you better and better things. Now, everything they sent me today was really cute. Um, just some of it, I already, like the sweater, I have sweaters in my closet. The shirt was just uncomfortable. Um, you know, it's not really their fault. It's really cute stuff and it's good high quality. So, I'm rambling. Regardless, I'll leave a link for you guys down below. If you haven't signed up for an account, go sign up for an account. Um, you can you can sign up for an account and, and then not do anything with it. it. You can just kind of look around and kind of see how it works. Just signing up for an account, you're not automatically guaranteeing that you're going to order something. Um, but anyway. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope y'all are doing really well and having a nice, cool fall day. And I love you all so much. Bye, guys.